talk while we walk. Get us a camera out of the face. All right, take a breather. She'll be out. She's in meetings. She'll be back out. Unless she wants to see the mom. OK. You want to see your mom? Is that what? I want to see my freaking mom. I was in a meeting with one of the doctors, and um, I heard a noise, and I thought, wow, that sounds like William. She'll be out in a little bit. Can I just here. stop and see if that's William? I really feel like that's William, and it's really hurt my heart. Is that William I'm hearing? Let's go to your room, okay? Let's go to your room. Let's go to your room and talk about this. Come on. Please, can we? Oh, my God. He was in PT and did not want to move anymore, and, you know, he just had a little meltdown. Can you just tell me what happened, though? No one be here. Okay, can you tell me why? Can you just tell me what happened? Can you just tell me what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Let's be out of here. It's work. We talked about that, <gasps> didn't we? It's not going to always be easy. There's going to be hard things, right? <gasps> it's really um, a lot to swallow. I know you're worried. I wish you were here. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say is it just sucks being me right now. I mean, we're so out of control. Even in the midst of that meltdown, I was still like, I'm the mom. I have to fix this. I think he's just on overload. And he's having a hard time processing it and all this. Part of the behavioral tendencies of having Prader-Willi syndrome is to occasionally have tantrums and to become upset in a, a novel environment or when things aren't going exactly as, as expected. The thing that really struck me the most was just seeing the other kids there with the same syndrome as well, realizing that we weren't alone. So that was actually kind of a comfort. My name is Brittany McKinnon. I've been here at the Prater Lee Institute for about three weeks. Um, I like it here. I really, I really made a lot of friends. Special William, he's a cool guy. I like him. Ready for lunch? He seems like a really nice guy. He really does. And I think we'll be coming to get, be good buddies. You're going to eat with your friends down in the main cafeteria. We have an area for our unit where you guys can eat and get served breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a server that will serve you each of your meals every day. Okay. Uh -huh. How's my handsome boy? They go to the cafeteria. They're all, they all sit down. They have a section. Actually, where they're at, there's a partition up that kind of separates them from the regular, from whoever else is eating down there. So they're not looking on other people's plates and being tempted by that. Because people with PWS have low muscle mass, their metabolic rates tend to be lower, which means that they actually have a lower than normal caloric need. They actually need far fewer calories than most individuals in terms of a weight maintenance program. Our typical weight loss regimen um, for folks that come in with obesity complications would be 600 calories a day. Oh my goodness, the other kids there just welcomed him in like Nothing I ever imagined possible. This is such an amazing opportunity for this family to be able to be a part of this. And I think there's only one of these places in the world I think is almost appalling because there, there needs to be so many more places like that. Will's being able to take part in that is just a phenomenal blessing. I have a feeling you're making some new longtime friends here. What do you think? Think I might be right? Hmm? Yeah, I love you. I love you. I want you to get some good sleep tonight, okay? Okay. I hate saying goodbye to William, but it's good. It's good. It's bittersweet. I'm very, very proud of him. I'm going to miss him a lot.
it does make leaving easier, knowing that he's already got a bunch of friends that are there to support him. William was placed on one-to-one -one supervision within the first couple days that he was here. He's had difficulty with physical aggression, verbal aggression. Take the camera out of my face. He's here to help get with stabilization of behavior. William was placed on one-to-one -one supervision within the first couple days that he was here. He had the difficulties in physical therapy, and then that evening, William had some aggression towards staff. Um, he threw a bucket of water into the hallway, and he was rather upset during that first night. How are you today, William? I'm doing good, Christian. All right, everybody can start walking. William, with me, bud. We set him on one-to-one -one supervision. It's one staff to William. They're with him during all awake hours. Um, when he goes to his therapies, they'll attend those therapies with him, his meals, even room time just while he's sitting there. The staff is with him. We thought that it would be beneficial for him to have one particular person dedicate all of their energies towards him to help him adjust. Come on, Michael. In physical therapy, they do a 12-minute walk run. It's a 12-minute time session where they're given a goal by the physical therapist on how many laps they need to complete in that time frame. My goal is um, 15 laps. I'm Kim. Yeah. We'll need more. Uh, don't run. <laughs> when we go out there, I'm tired and it's hard. It's hard for me. What keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? Um, core. Give me a high five. Come on. High five. Come on. Awesome. Nice job. Can you keep up with me? What's your goal? We're working on that weight chart, right? What's your goal? 100. 100? They weighed me on Monday. Since I've been here, I lost 19 pounds. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't take it. Well, it's because you're working so hard. How many more? She's checking out. We're not yelling. <laughs> one more lap, and I think we'll be done. There's only like Last one. Last one. Last one. The first couple phone calls that we received from William, he would beg for me to come pick him up and bring him home, and he hates this place, and he just was having a very, very hard time. Honestly, at first, I just wanted to go there and get him and bring him home, and then I knew that, you know what, he does have those behaviors at home, and I'm glad that they're seeing him so that they can help him deal with how to, how, and how to change him. It's absolutely about the behavioral as well as the food. See? I need to sit. William's had a long history of behavior discontrol. He's had difficulty with physical aggression, verbal aggression, uh, property destruction, both at home and school. So he's here to help get with stabilization of behavior. We work with helping him to recognize his triggers um, that make him upset. We work with him on developing coping skills to handle his uh, emotions in a more healthy way. I know you're feeling real tired. You're doing a really good job, okay? I, I know that. I know that. I got a little frustrated because I can't make it. But I did. So 
some people want me to help me, and I know that. All right, well, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. We're making that's sure our goal is going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And you're, you're able to do it. Mm-hmm. And you've earned all your points for PT. Thank you, Pam. I'll Hey Joshua, yeah. I'm Corey, I'm one of the nurses here. It's nice to meet you. How was your trip up? Good? Yeah, fast. Fast? Yeah. Yeah. It's very really nice to meet you, Josh. I'll be talking with you, okay? Okay. Our son Josh is 12 years old. We're here because Josh was really, really sick. Um, where it got to the point where he could, uh, you know, pass. He came in on a stretcher, and they transferred him to a wheelchair, and that was like his breathing diminished so bad to where he was. He's about to get a trait. You got new friends. If if we wouldn't have bought him in, it would have been fatal. We learn a lot about. When weight reaches a critical level, a person can go from being, you know, not healthy to being very ill very quickly and Josh is among a number of folks who have come in, at that level of illness. To get this weight off is going to allow him to breathe better, to be mobile, and, and enjoy just life to, to the fullest. I'll tell him to watch on TV. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. His clothes are falling off of him. Look how baggy you are. Brittany was somebody who came up to Will and just started encouraging him immediately. She told me that you were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. to see him. He looks so good. He just looks good. His clothes are falling off of him. Look how baggy you are. Mm. Come look at my weight chart. Yeah. Come on, Mommy. What is the square count? The square, um, that's how many pounds. So. That's a pound? Yeah. <laughs> You're your second sheet of paper. Yeah. I have a second you. piece of paper. He doesn't even look good. the same. He's looking He's good. So hard. Really proud of him. Those pants were so, so tight on him. Is that right? I absolutely can notice a physical difference on him. Not only are his clothes bigger and hanging on him, but even underneath his clothes, his skin just isn't as tight and it's pulled as, as it had once been. Find me, Dad. I want to show you the bathtub. Ooh, you got a good bathtub. Oh, yeah. I've never seen him do a chore. Sure? <laughs> I have not seen him. Oh, you know. I know, Dad. We miss you so much, baby. I know, Dad. But you know it's the best place, right? Mm hmm We've thought about it hard. Did we make the right decision? Are we being bad parents for sending him here? This is probably the best decision we as a family has ever made. That child has never been as happy, never been as healthy. I love you. We got your glasses. Oh, honey. I brought you some new shirts. If those no. are falling off. No, this is falling off. That, that's impossible because those. This is falling off. It's slipping down. <laughs> this is the. William, do you know those were so tight you have to allow them to suck your belly in? It's, to it's sleeping on. off. His attitude is amazing. It was ama it was so cool watching him make his bed, and that would have never that kind of stuff has never happened before. So it was just all around. He's a different kid. Mom, don't help me. No, I'm not. Mom, don't help me. I think that's the first time ever. in your life you've ever said that. I make my bed when I get home, Mom.